Yo guys, it's yo lunatic ass dementia having ass fucking having got a haircut having ass fucking dish dryer broke having ass that smelly ass having ass dude fucking been having to wear my clothes for two fucking days at work and that shit sucks makes your boy a stinky boy dude fuck but you know i'm you know i'm, I'm far enough away that's like that, that i don't really have to fucking people have to fucking deal with my no their noses are away from my body <clears throat> you know some jobs bro like your nose has to be close to your body like uh what 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 would have to be perfumes bro like if i work that if i worked at kohl's dude in the the perfume section bro and i had to spray your ass to, so you could uh test a cologne dude you know what you're gonna test colon you're gonna test my colon because it's gonna smell like fucking ass dude and then you're gonna get a, a, a small hint dude like when you take a shit and use the air freshener and still smell like shit you're gonna smell like that dude my cologne dude my, <laughs> my, uh, but uh i had a a friend the other day I promised I'd get through a Bjork song for them. If you know who Bjork is, she's a artist in the '90s that was like dubbed too too strange for for uh, her taste, and I guess. And you know what, bro? That shit is fucking eye-opening, dude. I'm fucking like this, dude. I got I I see a whole new world, dude. Fucking opened up, dude. Fucking Bjork, bro. Fucking Earth Intruder, dude. Earth Intruder, bro. You have no fucking idea how sick Bjork is, dude. I'm literally fucking two more songs, <laughs> two songs away from turning into that uh, another stalker that shoots himself for Bjork, bro. I'm fucking two seconds from turning into that guy, dude. Fucking just, dude. If you see me with the shaved head, dude, going like. That in front of the fucking camera for Bjork? Dude, I'll fucking, I'm a Bjork the fuck up, dude. Fucking, oh my God, dude. Bjork's so good and talented, bro. Straight up, bro. It's like lo-fi, but with some vocals over it. And that shit is unique, dude. I'm a fucking Bjork the fuck up, dude. If, if you fucking, you, if you give me a ride anywhere, like I'm still in the ox. Yeah, I'm a Bjork your shit up, dude. I'm a Bjork you up. Fucking best ready to raise your fucking hands up, bro. Because we're fucking Bjorking, dude. We're fucking going to fight for Bjork. <laughs> yeah, that guy shot himself for Bjork, dude. That's crazy. Because um, he was a racist dude, apparently. And uh, uh, so Bjork was dating uh, a black fella. Probably giving her that fucking don't go, dude. That fucking clap back, dude, getting, don't, 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 gotta stop it. That's fucking Bjork, because it's going too deep. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, why does it always be about digs, man? Anyway, Bjork's getting, uh, she's getting the brother love. Homeboy probably snapping that in the back, dude. Just fucking. And she's making a new song, dude. You know, Bjork's so sick. I literally wish I came out of Bjork's vagina. And not, not because um, I want Bjork to be my mom, dude. I want Bjork to give me, <laughs> to give birth to me and then make a song about it. And then I get to listen to that song about me, dude, coming out of her vagina. I could be a grown adult, dude. I don't care, dude. I just want to walk out of that shit, dude. After after my brother fucking fucking Stargate opened that bitch up, bro. God damn it. What am I talking about? Dude, but you see fucking you see me, bro, with the fucking I get it. Bro. I shave my head, dude? For Bjork? I'll, I'll nah, I ain't gonna shave my head for Bjork. What am I gonna do for Bjork, bro? I'm gonna bake some 
pies for Bjork, bro. <laughs> We'll make a YouTube video where I'm baking pies for Bjork, bro. And what do you, they're gonna ask, what do you prefer? What do you prefer? A spoon? A fork? A spork? How about a Bjork, bro? I'll eat with a fucking, literally a Bjork. I'll grab her little legs, bro, and I'll scoop some fucking, some uh, tuna casserole up with her fucking face. And it, I don't know what I'm talking about, dude. Bjork, see, Bjork drives me wild, bro. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna go crazy. Without that, without all that racism that dude was doing, he was on the right track. And without all the shooting himself in the head, which was insane. If you've seen that video, dude, when he's like, eh, "I've been to her shows, I've been to her concerts, but she's taking that that brother," and he drops like end bombs. And you know, homeboy just smashing. He's smashing Bjork up, dude. Just fucking making. He's making an album off her on her back, bro. Or uh, with one leg up, just fucking. Damn, bro. Just Daddy Long D on there, bro. Fucking Bjork, dude. Fuck. But uh, <laughs> this story has nothing to do with Bjork. I decided to talk about how sick Bjork was. <laughs> Because uh, I finally, I'm fucking, what, I learned this year how, how talented that lady was. That shit's fucking another world, my guy. <clears throat> Literally, bro, you fucking, you'll blink, dude. You close your eyes, and you're fucking, you're swimming around in Bjork's fucking intestines, dude. Like, not sexually. You're literally swimming around, fucking feeling too much emotions, dude. You know, if they put... If they put fucking um, the notebook on and a Bjork song on, dude. If you put that shit on in your living room, <laughs> fucking Noah would be building an ark, bro, from all them fucking tears that you're you're fucking producing on your couch, dude. Noah would be right next to you, and you just hear it start. He'd start fucking building a fucking ark, bro, and then you'd get. All these animals just start being like, oh, I guess uh, I guess we have to get on this fucking boat. And they're literally just in your one bedroom apartment, busting through your fucking door. Elephants come out of your, your room because they were banging real quick. And they're like, because Bjork's so beautiful. You're banging and they're like, oh, I guess it's time to get on that boat. And Noah's like fucking, you know, summoning all the animals in the world <laughs> to bust through your fucking condo, your, your fucking one bedroom, bro. And, oh. Uh, there's also an arc in there, bro. So not only can you not watch The Notebook now, because there's too many animals in the way, but fucking Bjork's still on, dude. And now their animals are crying. Now Noah's, Noah probably sheds one tear, though, because he knows what must be done. The arc shall be built. And then, uh... <laughs> I'm turning into the dude! I'm fucking... Dude, literally, this this is probably the same exact video Bjork Stalker did before he went all hardcore, bro. <laughs> he fucking... Oh, shit. All right, just, just asking me if I'm okay if I shave my head. That's all. That's all, boys. That's all. Um, this story, though, is called... I don't know, Men in Black, bro, I guess. Fucking... I remember when that movie first, fuck, the commercials first aired, dude. We were fucking like, oh, fuck. You're like, Tuxes? What? Will Smith? We didn't know who Will Smith was, you know, because we were little. But we're like, what? They're fighting, what? And aliens. And then um, we're like, yeah, we know some aliens down the street. Um, our buddies uh, from Mexico. Uh, weren't really allowed here yet. Um, <laughs> anyway, so we're fucking playing on my dad's fucking truck bed, bro. We're playing Men in Black. And we didn't see the fucking movie yet. So we just know, we just know with a one line, bro. Don't push the button. What button? When they push the button, dude. And that's the commercial. And then they're like, no. All right, dude. And then we're playing. We're, me and Rick and I think my friend Justin, we're all, uh, 
men in black and our, our two buddies, Ignacio and Aaron, and I think Carlos and Jesus were the other four. We made them aliens, bro. Unracially, unracisty as possible, we made them aliens, dude. And <laughs> they were aliens, which, which, I don't know. I got, whatever. Um, kind of weird, you know. We're like, no, bro, you're... I don't, I don't want to go down that, that path. Get them, get them fooled out of America. That would suck. I love those dudes. Um, anyway, um, fucking name dropping. Uh, nah, you don't know their last names. All right, anyway, so Aaron, Jesus, Carla. <laughs> Just start fucking dropping their names out, bro. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're playing Men in Black in the back of the truck, dude. Just all we know is don't push the button and then something about that little ass gun that fucking blows your wig back, dude. And I didn't know Rick literally had one of those little guns in his pocket, dude. Because when he fucking, he, he was standing on the side of this truck, bro. He was standing on the side of the truck. He fucking, um, uh, fucking had a little cricket gun in his pocket. It wasn't his little dick. It was his cricket gun. And then, like, we did the don't push the red button. It started raining in the back of the truck. And then, um, literally, you just see Rick go, boom! And he fucking slips off the side of the truck, dude. And, you know, that's, that's like, whatever. We're just, like, um, we're, like, oh, dude, fell. Do we, we go, we turn over, dude? And this motherfucker's, his cheek has a tube from in here. Literally a tube was in his side of his face and you can see the tube. Aha, aha. The tube was literally from his cheek into the inside of his fucking mouth, bro. And he's laying there because he fell off the truck onto a fucking random ass little tube that was sticking out of the fucking ground, dude. And he's just sitting there like, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how fucking fucking funny that fool looked, dude. Oh! And I remember he fucking <laughs> he fucking pulled himself up. Um uh pulled himself up off the fucking tube and bro you can hear it. You can hear it go. <sighs> ah dude. And you can see a you can see the two bro just uh, coming out of his fucking cheek, bro. Holy shit, dude! And you know now we got we got illegal aliens. They running because <laughs> you know you get in trouble, bro. Back in the day, your friend got fucking hurt, dude. Your friend got hurt when you got home. You got hurt, bro. That's like how it was back then. Your motherfucking ass is gonna get slippity slap the fuck up, dude. So that's that's a oh goddamn camera, dude. Just keep bouncing. Gotta figure this shit out. But yeah, dude. Anyway, fucking straight up, dude. You got hurt if your friend got hurt, and that's just how fucking life. That's literally how life went, dude. Uh, but uh. Fucking, he ran, we ran home. Rick sitting there and fucking with a hole in his fucking face. Literally a hole in his face, dude. Um, fucking, what did he do after that hole in the face, dude? I think he ran inside, dude. And then, um, oh, my dad. I think first my dad beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> for playing on the truck. Which is like, come on, he's playing on the fucking truck. So Rick gets spanked, I think. I don't remember. I remember some whales from inside the house, bro. And I'm sitting there with my white friend because our alien friends left, bro. Our... <laughs> fucking... Ah, I'm Mexican too, motherfuckers. So don't even, don't even be like he's racist, you bitches. I'm just fucking popping, popping top. All right, anyway, um, yeah, Rick gets beat, I think, and we don't do. You think you're going to the hospital when you're Mexican? 
Fuck no, you're not, dude. You're going, you're going straight. Rick went to the bed, bro. They laid his ass in the bed with like a fucking ice pack. You can't ice a hole in your face, dude. The fucking shit's not gonna shrink. Bro, so he's laying there with a hole in his face. He, I think he still has the scar. If you look at his little cheek, it's got a little boop. Like a little pinhole. <laughs> and, um... Um... Uh, what did I say? Yeah, he, he's laying there with the ice. Sorry, I have to drive sometimes, and that's when I lose, like, focus on the story. Because I'm like, alright, I'm gonna fucking crash. And then this is still going up on YouTube after I fucking crash, because that's funnier than my story, so, uh, <clears throat> but, uh, Rick's crying, because he probably got his ass beat, and now he's laying there with a hole in his face, um, <laughs> fuck, my dad was wild, bro, my dad, my dad made us some fucking man, dude, straight man, straight man, bro, straight fucking man, bro, a straight fucking man, Right, anyway, um, God, I have like, I have a uh, ADHD props. Uh, so Rick's laying there. <laughs> I keep trying to fucking finish this. Uh, I think that was just it though. Like he's laying there with eyes, me and my white friend Justin, <laughs> um, with a hot ass sister, bro, back in the day. Oh, fucking shit. Ooh, dude. I think that's the first time my penis was hard it was when I saw um, his sister and I was like four, six, maybe six six bro and there was probably literally nothing to look at dude but when you know when you're six dude when you're six dude just straight up bro literally touching your friend's elbow is gonna get your dick up hard, bro. You're like, oh, that, that, that skin to skin, that, that's contact. That's fucking contact, boy. Oh, feelings, dude. <laughs> that feelings. Um, anyway, I don't know. Rick fucking just laid there, bro, and uh, eventually he's got a little scar on his fucking face. You can ask him about it. <laughs> fucking tube went straight through his face, scared my um, alien friends home, and then, um, uh, uh, me and my my white boy my white boyfriend were just sit, sitting there in the truck. I think I don't know. I mean, we ran, or no? I was just scared to go inside because I was gonna get hit, you know, for for being an accomplice to Rick's lighting off the fucking truck. Even though he shouldn't have carried that fucking cricket gun, dude. It's his fucking fault. But uh, <sighs> moral of the story, dude. Watch the fucking whole movie before you play Men in Black, dude. Watch the whole movie. Because not at, at one point does Will Smith or uh, Tommy Lee get a fucking hole in their face. Rick fucking didn't watch the movie and he paid the fucking price. I don't know what to fucking tell you. <laughs> Next time I watch the movie, you won't get a hole in your face, motherfucker. Uh, but uh, I'm going to the gym, my guys. I got shoulders, arms. The fucking money makers, bro. The money makers. But, uh, I don't know. It's my fucking Thursday. I got one more, two more night shifts. Mentally going insane. I hope you guys have a fucking good day, though. Um, you know, just help one. If you help, like, one dude out a week, dude, I promise you, you're gonna feel good. Just one, just help one person. Even if it's just talking. Oh, you never know what they're going through. 